Sup? Hey there guys, this is Flamzeron, aka YouTube's Toske, and I've got something a little different for you guys today. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these. In fact, I didn't do too many. I think the last one I did was one of the uh, Batman figures, which I now have like three. <laughs> but uh, some of you might know, some of you don't. So for those who don't, um, I like to collect action figures. And I used to do some figure reviews um, for a while. Not too many, just kind of for fun. I think the first one I did was the Play Arts Zack Fair from Crisis Core. I know there's a Play Arts Kai version now of basically the same version of the character from the game, but yeah, um, not really doing a big comeback. I'm actually uh, my buddy uh, Stan, also known as Dream Sword, who's also on um, the podcast with with me, has gotten into doing uh, action figures, um, collecting and reviewing. <laughs> but uh, you can tell I'm a little uh, out, a little rusty with these. But uh, you know, I'm a big fan of Pixel Dan's work. Um, so that being said. Uh, my buddy Stan got his first uh, Saint Seiya figure, his Andromeda Shun uh, Mythcloth figure, which I'll have a link in the description down in the nether regions for his review if you want to see that. And uh, I promised him that I would get Odin Seiya here, Odin Rope Seiya here, and do a review on him. Um, this isn't my first Mythcloth figure, but this is probably the most... Uh, I don't know if rare is the right word. It's because the, the Mythcloth series of figures is notorious for being pretty expensive, especially for an older figure like this. In fact, this isn't even Mythcloth EX. This is just regular Mythcloth, which they don't usually only do for, like, smaller characters. I think that's probably part of the reason why. Because um, this figure is apparently from 2009. Um, but I got him today off of eBay, so I figured I'd review him for y'all. This is my first uh, Mythcloth review figure and uh you know just just for those who care um and you'll see a couple more because you know i'll have to do you know comparison time <laughs> um but uh yeah so this is i think like my fifth let's see because i've got the uh i've got the uh well you'll, you'll see two of them but i've got a few and i've got one of the gold saints as well which i'll show you sort of just for comparison because this guy's going to be a bit a bit a little different than probably what you're used to with Saint Seiya figures if you if you've seen them and you're a new collector. But enough rambling. Why don't we get into it? So this is Odin Seiya Myth Cloth. Here's what he looks like in the front of the box, and then you got this. You got the Odin robe right there, Saint Myth Cloth. The box is kind of banged up. That's not too big of a deal, but you know, not super ideal. And I don't know if you guys can see that too good in fact no you can't but uh it's you're gonna have to bear with me i'm doing the same uh let's see how does it look if i get super close yeah i'll, I'll have to kind of make do sorry now i'm using the same setup that i do for the collection unboxings because I, I never really had an ideal spot for um recording figure reviews but hopefully hopefully i do okay so you can kind of see that he kind of opens up here with like a little Velcro thingy. Let me make sure I, you guys have a better shot of everything. Um, so the box itself is pretty nice, kind of a nice sort of smooth texture to it, a little shiny. That's also probably part of the reason why it doesn't uh, look too good. But let's go ahead and open up. You can see the figure within. Um, also probably a little hard to tell. But, uh, see if you can make them out good. Yeah. But, looks alright, so. Let me go ahead and get the uh, figure out himself, and we'll go over the basic stuff. Because as you can see with Mythcloth fi figures, they're kind of almost like model kits, and that you sort of have to put them together a little bit. But, yeah, let's go ahead and do that in three, two one alrighty so this is what he looks like just out get a good look at him but 
He looks pretty good. One thing I'm kind of noticing, I don't know how easy it is to tell. I'm going to put his fist up as close to the camera as I can. It's probably hard to tell, but his skin looks a little more yellowy. I don't know. Maybe the same factory that manufactured him was also making a Simpsons figure. I've got the rare uh, Homer robe, Saya. Uh, Pegasus Donut! No, no. But, uh, sculpt otherwise is pretty good. I like his sort of hair. Um,. I like it's a little smaller than the uh the uh, other say that I've got but uh again this is just like a this is more just regular myth cloth so let me you can see he's also got like a little his torso here is uh not one piece that's kind of interesting but uh anyway let's go over the articulation so he's got sort of like a head thingy here it looks like his neck doesn't move, oh, kind of. Most of the time, you'll see like the neck move a little bit. Um, got this little weird like, sounds ring outside. Little ball thingy here at the shoulder. He can also do this with the shoulder and be all like, be all like. <laughs> um, um, so he can do that. He's got a swivel for the bicep. Got looks like the double jointed uh, elbow cut then you got the wrist swivel as well as like a little thingy so you can be all like mm -hmm, girl yeah um, same with the other arm he's got a torso thingy here so you can kind of I think it's on a peg and then you've also got like a hip one as well kind of so you can kind of pose them around and such then you've got you know the leg stuff here you can go like this but you can also go like this and also you can turn his uh, thigh I think these are thighs double Jointed at the knees. You can see the little pegs where we're going to put the armor. Uh, calves can do this. Move like that. Then he's got the boot cut here. Because you're actually going to be pulling them off later on for the armor. Go back on. Thank you. Um, and then he's got the uh, cut here. And then you can kind of... You can kind of move it. You can kind of see, like, I've got his, like, little leg there. But, uh, then you've got a toe cut there, so. Yeah. We could put him in a cool pose. This is probably the, this is, like, the ultimate Saint Seiya pose right there. He's doing the Ryusei and being all like, Chia! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, articulation's still pretty good, even for this early of a figure. I don't know how old it is. Obviously, it came out in, like, 2009, obviously, so this was... Uh, before, like, Omega and the uh, Netflix series that's coming out and all the other stuff. I think the most that this probably is, had come out, I think, on, I think the OV, the Hades OVAs had just maybe finished. I don't know yet. They were either 2006 or 2008 when they ended, and I think uh, Lost Canvas was going on, but, uh, yeah, you know, obviously you see we've got some armor over there and some over there, and apparently he's got a cape in there that I didn't even notice, so... I'm gonna, let me put him in a normal pose to make this transition look a little better. Well, I'm noticing this arm is a little looser than the other. Um, I, when I bought him on eBay, the guy said he was gently used, so I'm guessing he was probably played with. I, I didn't, it didn't look to me like he had been retaped in terms of putting him in the thingy, but, you know, we'll just have to, you know, go from there either way. It's not a big deal. It's like, you know, it's, it's and it's pretty minor too. He doesn't really move that much, but uh yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get his armor on and I'll show you guys what he looks like there. So, all righty, he's all fixed up now. Let me do a better shot so you can see him in all his glory. Oh yes. So, oh. he do, does actually have a little cape, but yeah. As you can see, he looks Ooh, this looks really cool. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to put him back in the box or pose him, but I think I might keep him like this. Because he's like a he's like a holy knight. He's like Whoosh. He's all like, yeah. And then when the bad guys come, he's all like, You will step away. Ugh. Ugh. But as you can tell, he does come with a cool sword. It's the only uh, myth cloth figure that I have that comes with a cool accessory, but yeah, articulation's not really hindered that much, mainly in the uh, arms and legs, I think. You can kind of see his legs are kind of 
weird. Um, a little bit. He's also a little heavier too, because a lot of these are made with like metal parts, like the arms and the like a shoulders are not head thing. He's not, which the head thing kind of took a little bit of time to put together. But chest, uh, armlets, and then pretty much the entire leg, as well as I think the belt is too. Did I forget something? I did. Well, I guess you can kind of. All righty. Let's see. Left side. Yeah, so. Apologies, I guess I wasn't really finished, but you guys can see this too. You know, it's. So. They're usually actually pretty simple to put. Let's see if I can do this from far, because I usually have to be up close. Uh, okay, hold on a minute. Yeah, alrighty, and. There you go. See. I can already see, see his little thingy, alright, so you just kind of have to push these in, they're, they're on like these weird little like separator things, I don't know if you can see it, but they're on like little separator things and you're basically expected just to push them in, but, you know, then, the armor does have articulation, uh, you can see in his shoulders, you can kind of move them around. Because of the sculpt, you can kind of see where the joint is, or the peg or whatever. And that, that's kind of a bit of a turnoff, but I mean, like, this is an older figure, so. His cape is nice, you know, he's, it's all flowy, so if you wanted him to be all like, jump in the air, oh, I'm falling, you know. You see the cape goes up, but, yeah, I think he looks really cool. Um very very cool indeed but uh yeah um but like i said this isn't the only myth cloth figure i have so i am going to show some like for example here he is next to the myth cloth uh pegasus koga from saint say omega you can kind of see that the size it the main difference is kind of in the sculpt a little bit koga here is a little nicer but and i'll bring him up but you know, looks pretty cool. Um, and the paint job's a little different, but like the size is pretty much the same, and the the uh, it's a little uh, you know. But then on the other side of the universe with the Mythcloth EX, here he is next to my Mythcloth EX Scorpio Miro figure, and it's the one of the two Gold Saint figures I have, and you can kind of see he's a bit bigger, even with his head kind of. Hunch over, I've got him doing like the Scarlet Needle kind of thing. Let me bring him closer. He actually kind of looks more like Poseidon in the preview. But yeah, here he is here. I'm trying to be kind of careful with him. This is easily the most... Um, this is a little fragile. As you can kind of see where they kind of changed up the caves here. Here it's like a plastic mold that kind of bends out and stuff. But uh, with... Let's see if I can point. With Say over here... It, uh, it's a cloth one. I think actually doing the cloth one. Oh, and his thing came off. That's okay. I'll put it back together. But you know, that that's kind of how it is with the myth cloth figures. The myth cloth EX are generally larger and have kind of better sculpts, whereas the uh, the myth cloths are a little smaller and their sculpts are not as good but they're still pretty good and of course again this is a, a, an older figure so obviously it's going to be a little different but uh just for the sake of some other comparison to other figures here he is next to my jazz wears mortal kombat 9 Liu kang with the, that he kind of towers over me because Liu kang's got this weird neck thing going on but then uh for another comparison with the japanese franchise here he is next to the Dragon Stars, um, oh yeah, I think that's how you pronounce his name, but yeah, you can see, like, it really Goku's hair is, like, the main thing that kind of goes up, but, you know, you know, he, Say is so powerful that even Super Saiyan Blue Goku doesn't phase him, so. But, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I'll get another close-up of him. He looks 
pretty cool. I'm pleased. Um, him and Sho, when she comes out, are going to be the last two Mythcloth figures I have. I know they released another um, another uh, Seiya for the Heaven movie because he gets a new cloth at the very end, apparently. I've, I'm, I'm still kind of behind on all my Saint Seiya uh, watching. And once the Netflix series comes out, I will probably binge the rest of it because... I'm uh, I'm on Haiti, so like there's not really too much left I gotta watch of like the anime material. And then I need to finish up Saintia's show, which that's only ten episodes for some reason, but Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for the shitty quality. I'm kinda learning or relearning um video recording. I, I'm recording this on my laptop webcam, so if I were to start doing this again, ideally I would wanna get like a backdrop. Um, like one and like uh, get, um, like a nice camera for it and maybe a tripod and stuff. I actually had a tripod. I don't know what happened to it, but you know that that would be something I would maybe consider if I were to do recording again. If I were to record more action figure reviews, which I have maybe one more plan just for the sake of trying to match Stan, because he's already done two. Um, so figured I might as well you know do the same. So I'm already planning my next one, but if you want me to maybe start doing them a little more regularly, let me know. Um, so yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Ook. <laughs>